Hey, what's up you guys? This is Incredible Bulk back with another uh, action figure toy review. Uh, let's see what we got on the box here. Got it today. A little bit of a delay, but it's all good. It got here better late than never. Hopefully uh, this little set I got here looks as good as it has on uh, some of the uh, social media pictures that I've seen. The Hasbro Pulse comes to this little box here. Let's cut this open. And there it is. We got the uh, Duke and Cobra Commander 2-pack O-ring style G.I. Joe. There's what the back looks like. That's about it. I don't see anything on top, anything on bottom, just your barcode. Uh, this should just pop off like the, uh, the other one that I... Uh, ordered I did order the uh, storm shadow snake ice I didn't get in on the uh, troopers yet um, I probably will order them I just haven't um, let's see how these look though I'm pretty curious about this set try not to uh, damage this box too much down tape okay so it has like a little uh, G.I. Joe uh, symbol right there F4926 this is uh, gonna be the accessories in here the same as the uh, the storm shadow uh, pack that I uh, reviewed before there's the two figures and my first impression of looking at this, um, let's see. I mean, he looks all right. He doesn't look bad. The, the paint is definitely uh, accurate to the uh, cartoon, the Sunbow cartoon. Uh, got his rifle there, his helmet. I don't see a backpack. It's probably in this other little box I'm thinking. Uh, the card itself, it doesn't feel as flimsy as the uh, Storm Shadow Snake Eyes 2-pack that I uh, purchased before. So the, the card stock on this is actually better. It's thicker. It feels better. Uh, on the back, Conrad S. Hauser. Um, just like your basic uh, G.I. Joe uh, stuff back there uh, from the file cards. There's not a lot of writing as far as like the detail of the old school like 80s, but I don't know. I guess you got to kind of compensate if they have different languages. And then you, on the back here, you got the set so far, uh, the sets that they've released. So you have the uh, Snake Eye Storm Shadow, like I mentioned, and the... Uh, uh, Cobra Trooper and uh, I guess Infantry or Cobra the Enemy, I don't remember. And then Duke and uh, Cobra Commander. So, I mean, he looks all right. I've been seeing people saying that the eyes are, I guess, one is higher than the other, but I think that's the way he's supposed to be, the way he's smiling. Um, if not, that's a lot of uh, Dukes that. They screwed up on the face, uh, but I think that's the way it's supposed to look. You see that? The eyes kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's just the way the eyebrows painted on there. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, that's the Duke. And then here's the back of the Cobra Commander. 
Here's the front of the Cobra Commander. And I can tell you right now, just by looking at the Cobra Commander, I like this Cobra Commander uh, better than I do the Duke. Um, I don't know, he just looks... Maybe that'll change, I don't know, once I uh, get them out of the package. Um, I don't know if I should open these. I was thinking of not opening them, but I kind of want to open them. Um, so I probably will open them right now. And then um, I'll probably grab the uh, old school ones that I have and do like a little comparison to see how they look side by side. Um, but there you go, Cobra Commander, Cobra Enemy. And that's about it. Let's uh, let's see what's in uh, this little box here. What kind of weapons we got. So this actually was supposed to come yesterday. So I was kind of waiting for it. And I thought it was going to be here yesterday. So I was kind of anticipating um, the figures. And then uh, said it was delayed. Um, but like I said, got here today. So no biggie a day late not too bad okay so let's see what we got here accessory wise so tear this open um, going back to the sets uh, the two packs that they're doing now of the o-ring um, figures I wish they would just Instead of doing a Hasbro Pulse exclusives, they should just um, start selling them in the stores again like they used to in the old days. Um, it was pretty cool like going to the store and seeing like the, the shelves stacked with uh, G.I. Joe figures. I mean, that would definitely give it a nostalgic feel. And I think that would be nice to see like, you know, the, the shelves full of uh, o-ring figures i mean they don't have to remake all of them they can make new characters like ones that they haven't yet um anyway here's uh the backpack from uh duke you see the sh the shovel back there uh it's just all plain uh tan color uh, i wish they would have uh, painted it give it a little, little more detail but it's okay i mean no big deal it still looks good the plastic on it feels uh solid and then you have his uh, bazooka here. And again, the plastic. Wow, the plastic actually feels uh, a little bendy. Not, not bad at all. I mean, it doesn't feel like it would. Uh, I mean, it'll break if you put a lot of pressure on it. But this one has a little more play on it where the old school ones, they'll just snap if you try to even do that little bend. Uh, so the plastic is nice on uh, on that and then here you go you have his uh, rifle similar to the uh, well it is it's the same thing as the uh, old school one that's how it looks very nice and then you have this uh, chest piece I don't really care for it um, but I mean it's uh, extra so I'm not gonna complain and then you have his uh, binoculars. So you get a pair of binoculars there. It's pretty flexible. So those are uh, Duke's accessories. And then let's see what we got here. This is, okay, so you got a another accessory for Duke. This is pretty cool that they included this. This is the uh, the backpack uh, with the rockets on the back. Pretty neat. I like, like I said, I like that they included this. It's an extra accessory right there. And then you have this stand, and no name on it. It's just a plain looking stand. Um, it's all right, I guess. It looks a little uh, bigger than the other ones from before but it says GI Joe on it so there's your stand and we got old glory in here here we go so you get a uh, flag also pretty cool very nice 
plastic and just plop this on there and there you go you got your flag cool okay so you got your flag right there and let's see these are uh, Cobra Commander's accessories I believe so I'll tear this tape off Yeah, so what I was saying is it would be cool if they uh, stocked the shelves up at the stores with these uh, O-ring figures. I mean, if you're going to start making them, uh, you might as well just keep going and not go like half-ass and not finish what you started. I mean, you already got the people collecting these, so you should keep going. I hope it's not like, a, uh, like how they did the uh, G.I. Joe retro thing where they only made like I don't know how many it was, like six or eight of them, and then they pretty much stopped making them, discontinued them. Um, so hopefully uh, that doesn't happen. Uh, here you go, you got Cobra Commander staff. That's pretty neat. I like that. You got his stand. That's weird that they gave us an old school stand. This one, like black like standard one and then on the duke you have like this big ass stand that's kind of weird okay and then you have uh, cobra commander's little i guess like a little detonator device type deal and then he also has the uh, cobra binoculars that's pretty neat you have his uh, gun like the old school one, plops on his uh, back. Nice plastic on that. And then you have these two other, uh, I don't know, they look weird looking guns. I don't really care for them, but I mean, whatever. And then here's the other uh, gun. Weird, there's like some uh, red uh, hand grip right there painted on, and then right here on the uh, the gun tip you see another uh, painted red piece up here on top and then you have this uh, I don't know I guess you would call this like a uh, I want to say it's like a remote control or yeah it has to be it doesn't look like a walkie-talkie so maybe it's goes with this guy you like plant your detonate your uh, explosive device or whatever there's the countdown so yeah so there is all the accessories so let's uh let's let's get these guys out of the package might as well right i'm probably gonna end up opening the uh the other uh two pack that i have the storm shadow and the uh snake eyes one as well I, I still haven't opened that one. I've actually uh, kept it in the the package. Willpower, willpower. I mean, I wanted to open it, but I, I just haven't. Okay, so there's Duke. Set that aside. Here's his rifle. So you got another accessory right there. Got a lot of accessories with this uh, Duke and Cobra Commander, that's for sure. That's a good thing. So there's his helmet. Come on, Dukey. So this is my first time actually um, taking the, the new O-ring figures out and actually having them in my hand and posing them and stuff. So, wow, the plastic does feel different. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat actually, I like it.
pretty cool. So here's his uh, his face sculpt. So people were saying that his his eyes were like crooked on some people's uh, Duke, but I don't know. Maybe they did mess up on some people's, but I think it's just the way the eyebrow is, like the way he's kind of like grinning. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, there's Duke. Feels pretty good. Got some plastic right there rubbing. Feels pretty uh pretty solid. Uh the arm the arm feels like a little loose, but I don't know. I think that's the way they are now. Um I mean it's not loose as in you know all wobbly or anything, but it doesn't feel like really tight. You know, you could like bend it pretty uh pretty easy. Some of them are tight, like I don't know if they're just because they're old school uh toys and they just some of them lock up on the rivet or what if maybe the rivet gets rusty inside, I don't know. Um but yeah, this guy he looks pretty cool. I like him. So that is Duke. Let's uh, put his helmet on. There he is with his helmet. Put his backpack. There's his backpack on. The uh the peg doesn't go like all the way in like that great. It's like right at the the tip only goes in. Calm down, dirty minds. But uh yeah, that's uh that's about it right there. You see the gap? It's not gonna go all the way in. Dirty mines. Here's the flag. I'll get in there. There it is. So there you got Duke. Oh shit, it came out. What happened? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so there you got Duke with the flag. And you got his uh, rocket backpack. And then if you want to put his rifle, got his rifle. Pretty sweet. I like it. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's uh, let's get Cobra Commander out of the package now. So I'm thinking, I don't know, leave like a comment down below, see uh, what O-ring figures you think they should make next. Um, do you want to see like a another uh, set like a remake of like the old 80s uh, Joes or do you want to see like some new characters um, I know there's some people that can't afford the uh, the old school GI Joes so maybe uh, the remakes are uh, a good thing for them if they want to uh, you know collect that storm shadow that's running hundred plus dollars now or let's say even like bats I think bats would be like a a really good um, sell for Hasbro at this point right now like you already did the Cobra officer and Cobra soldier like do some bats um, on the GI Joe side I don't know uh, I'm not really I have a lot of the old school ones already, so I'm not really like, uh, oh, okay, well, I'll make this one, I'll make this one, I don't have it. Um, but like maybe new characters, if they could make new characters, that'd be sweet. So here's his other uh, gun that was in the package. And there's that, and then here's Cobra Commander. So there's he has his black gloves on right here. I like the way those look. Very nice. This one feels tighter actually than the Duke like on the arms. 
I mean, they still bend okay, like on the dupe, but this one feels a little, little more snug, if that makes sense. And you see the, the stripe on his helmet, nice touch. See the um, off color up here on the uh, collar shirt underneath his, uh, his button up shirt here. Uh, see the belt right there. Nicely painted, and then you see the the spot for his gun. We just uh, connect that in there. Just like that. Nice Cobra symbol. This is a, I really like this Cobra Commander. I think he's a pretty sweet looking, he's like badass. They did a really good job on the Cobra Commander. And um, I did order the uh, Sky Striker, so I am gonna be getting the other Cobra Commander, the the one with the Mickey Mouse uh, logo. Uh, but this is, a, this is a very nice Cobra Commander, I like it. The plastic on these figures feel pretty good, like feel durable, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, there's like a little more uh, bend in the hands so less risk of breaking the the fingers uh the thumbs uh yeah I, I like it very nice so he does turns about like that not too much but i mean o-ring figure i mean you already know how they operate so yeah so there is cobra commander and there is Duke. So let me grab like the uh, the old school ones that I have and we'll do like a little side by side on them. Okay, so here are the old school versus the new school. So we got uh, my old school Duke right here. And you got your uh, new Duke right here. I like I like both of them. I think they uh, they look good. The old school is gonna win uh, all the time, but uh, for the new one, he looks pretty cool. I like them. Um, the boots, everything, they look the same. Everything looks the same. Just uh, there's like a little more paint detail, like on the belt buckle. You see, there's like gold on the uh, the new Duke. Uh, the old one was just painted all green. Uh, you see the winged eagle on his uh, shirt there is painted gold on the old school one. It's all beige. You see brown on the belt with the gold buckle on the old school. It's all green. The grenade is green. Grenade's brown on this one. Um, the gun, the pouch is painted brown on this one. More detail. This one's just green with the pants blended in. Um, so yeah, so there's like a, a lot more paint detail on the newer ones, uh, as there should be. I mean, we're paying basically 20 plus dollars for figures that used to cost $3 back in the day. Uh, I guess, I don't know, that's inflation, I guess, I don't know. So here is the new Cobra Commander versus the old one. You see the old one? has the Cobra symbol in the middle and the new one has it a little off to the side. Um, let's get a side view of it. The old one has like a little, I don't know, more of like an oval type shape to the, um, the mask and the helmet's a little different. Uh, the helmet's more, I want to say a little bit bigger on the new one little more rounded and then you get that stripe on top of course uh, the gloves they're a little longer see the uh, the leg his uh, I think it's a dagger right there pretty similar belt buckle looks better on the new one more detail on there and then on the pants, you don't see the uh, red stripe on the new one like you do the uh, 
the old school one. So there's another difference. And then there's the back. So that's about it. Like uh, for the comparison of Cobra Commander, um, I really like this new Cobra Commander. Uh, the old one, I'm always going to like it no matter what. Um, but yeah, that is the new set that came in. Is it worth 40 plus dollars? Uh, that all depends on you. Uh, how bad do you like G.I. Joe? How bad do you like the O-rings? Um, is it a little more expensive than, I mean, I don't know because you got Super 7, they're selling uh, the five points of articulation, those are going for about 18 bucks. So why would Hasbro charge any less, right? If they have more articulation and somewhat some more details on some figures. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's up to you. Uh, I would grab the set. Uh, I'm definitely going to be grabbing the other uh, set, the one with the uh, Cobra Troopers. Uh, but that's going to be it for the review. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what um, G.I. Joe figures that you want made or if you want to see like a re-release. So, so far they've been re-releasing the past, what, six of them now. So um, if you uh, want to see like different figures in the line, leave a comment down below. I I'm kind of uh, curious to see what you guys think. Um, what do you think about like the uh, G.I. Joe three and three quarters flooding the, the stores again and taking up the shelves. I mean, let me know about that. Instead of uh, us having to order it, you know, and waiting all this time, I mean, why not release like a 10 to 12 figure uh, series and put it out there, you know. Uh, Christmas is coming up. It wouldn't be a bad idea, right? See some uh, G.I. Joe on the shelf. Uh, but with that being said, that's going to be it. That's going to do it for the review. Uh, hit a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.